Hey, you do probably come guys here with a deck profile. Uh, it's another Evil Hero Gaia deck, but it's also just not like the kill you one turn deck. It's a little more of like just an aggressive tribute summon deck. So we'll get into it. Um, three Malicious Edge. Contribute him for one if your opponent has a monster and he does piercing. Uh, he's also just a big fiend for the two fusions. Uh, and then we have three Caius and two Grand Marg. Um, yeah, you just fiends and then rocks. Uh, and then one big piece golem. He's kind of like Cyber Dragon, but it's a normal summon. So um, I kind of wanted just to like minimize on my rock monsters. Uh, Evil Hero Gaia is not really, or Dark Gaia is not like your go-to kill card. Like you can just kill them like straight beat down with these cards. So those are the big monsters. Then we have like some of the smaller monsters. Um, three Juju. You sort of like problematic synchro monsters and such. Um, yeah, uh, one Snowman Eater and one Wall of Illusion. Snowman Eaters for zero. Um, Wall of Illusion being a fiend and then these are rocks. So I wanted like to have a better rock monsters for Dark Gaia and then just like some like, I don't know, decent monsters that like just play really well into like Blackwing boards like or like can go against Blackwing boards. Then we have three Infernal Prodigies. Um, it's just like the little Cyber Dragon monster of the deck. And I mean, you contribute him for him and you draw a card on end phase, which is like really nice. Uh, and then we have one Infernal Gainer. Uh, it's just another evil hero monster to search off Stratos. Stratos only has like the three search targets. Um, I did play Ocean over the Snowman Eater for a little while, but he wasn't that good. Ocean was a little clunky, but Stratos is our only target for Rota. So like if you draw Rota later, it's kind of dead. But um, I just wanted to be able to have Stratos as much as possible in my 40 card deck. Um, well, not as much as possible, but... And then we have uh, Grand Mole, another target for the Stratos. Um, and it's just a rock monster, and it's just... It's a good card overall. Then our last two fiends are the two you-can't-kill-me cards. Uh, yep, so that's the monster count. Um, I really like it overall, just because, like... You have, like, solid wall monsters, just to, like, really... Take your time until you can like set up a semi-decent monster uh, to attack. Next we have Future Fusion, three Dark Fusion, two Dark Calling, one Fusion Gate, one Miracle Fusion, and one Instant Fusion. So a lot of fusion cards. Um, not really as many as like some of the other decks out there, but uh, I felt like it was a good amount. The um, fusion gate is really cool because it lets you make um, zero pretty easily along with some of the other ones. Uh, you can't make like Malicious Fiend or any of them, but like, yeah, you can make zero Gaia just like easily. Uh, this could also be cut for like just like a different card, but I thought I would test one of this just because it lets you kind of kill your opponent really easily with... Um, Return, I don't know, I just, I thought it was cool. Next is we have uh, three back row hate cards. And then, yeah, we'll get into return in just a second. Traps, we have return, dust shoot, torrential. Um, no mirror force, no solemn, none of that. Just like, I just wanted to have the less, like least trap cards possible, even though like, it's not the greatest. And instead of like bottomless or something like that, I'm playing compulse. You just want to like clear their board and just kill them, more or less. Um, it just it goes with the theme of like just bouncing the guys back to the hands with these guys overall. So like it's just like slow tempo bouncing kill. Uh, yeah, that's the main deck. Forty cards. Um, extra deck really is kind of free. You have three Dark Gaia. You don't need three. You have three Malicious Fiends. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't need three. <laughs> three zero. Don't need three. Two Gaia. Don't need it. The one Mariner. You do need one at least. And then I have two Chimera Attack. And then you could have, like, Stardust as the 15th card. Um, but that being said, realistically, all you really need is just, like, 
you can even reduce down some of the numbers on some of these guys like like these ones right here is all you really really need but again when you have an extra deck that's just this free you might as well just increase the numbers to see what happens uh especially like like zero um i think what's cool about zero is um fusion gating into him uh, you can just like banish the zero, uh, blow up their board after you like summon another zero, or more than likely you're gonna be summoning Gaia uh, after this. So there's a blow up their board. This gets just big. And you can just swing for a lot of damage. Um, that's just like the cool implications of what Fusion Gate can do. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the Dark Gaia deck. Uh, I had this built probably for a couple of weeks now or a couple months. Um, and I saw Who Needs Meta. They went four and two in the uh, really big Edison tournament. And their list was really cool, not gonna lie. I just was like, all right, that's their style. This is my style. I think like I liked this deck a little more this way. Um, and I know I haven't like put out a video in a while, guys. I just, after Nats, I kind of just wanted to like, just not do anything Yu-Gi-Oh related. And then I went on vacation, so. Um, yeah, now I'm starting work up again, but at the same time, I'm really starting to, like, put a couple of Edison decks back together. My one friend wants to start playing some, like, other formats than just Edison, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. But, okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoy your night. Later, guys.